Tonight, Hollywood's A-listers, our phone lines are already open here in New York, got together to raise money for those impacted by Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, some singing. In my hometown city of Houston, people need food. Others asking for donations. We don't want you to guys to just watch. We want you guys to be a part of this and, and donate whatever you can. Row after row of big names, Tom Hanks, George Clooney, Julia Roberts, manning the phones. Call me. Call me. We're here waiting. Prompted by images like these in Houston from two and a half weeks ago. The cars are stranded. We're not going to get out of here. Talent manager Scooter Braun and Houston rapper Bun B decided to put together as big of an effort as possible to help Texas. Action is a must. But while the concert was still in the planning stages, Irma, a second mega storm, wreaked havoc on Florida and the surrounding states. Whoa! So the proceeds from tonight's telethon will be used to aid the victims of both storms. The cost from both disasters expected to climb upwards of more than $200 billion. Given the sheer size of the storm, almost the entire state of Florida has been affected by Irma. From Jacksonville in the north, which is suffering historic flooding, to the Florida Keys in the south, where Irma first struck as a Category 4 storm on Sunday. FEMA says 90% of homes on this slender strip of islands have been destroyed or damaged. My colleague David Muir embedded with the Air National Guard unit out on McDill Air Force Base to survey the damage in the Keys. You've been out there, you have seen the damage and the devastation. What are we looking at here? You start getting down to mile marker 25, 24, 23, then you truly appreciate that a Category 4 hurricane passed over that area. Um, one out of every five houses is just destroyed in that area. In this neighborhood, the first structure completely destroyed. The playground beside it still standing. Farther down the road, a car with its windows blown out. Rooftops on front yards. This mailbox, a symbol of the strength of the winds that came through here. Search and rescue teams here are now going door to door in search of the people who did not evacuate. Irma has so far claimed the lives of at least 15 people throughout Florida. FEMA transferring more than 2 million meals and over 1 million liters of water to the state. While electricity has been restored to more than 2 million customers in Florida, tonight over 4.3 million customers are still without power. Repair crews more than 20,000 strong from 30 states and Canada are working around the clock, but many are now bracing for what may be another long night in the dark without air conditioning. It's intense, but we just take it step by step, one, one, one job at a time. In Lee County, at least 21 people hospitalized with possible carbon monoxide poisoning. There was a generator running at that residence when they, they called. They were instructed to turn it off. Authorities spreading the word tonight to homeowners. If you have a generator, you must keep it outside. But restoring electricity to the whole state could take weeks. Kathleen Thompson has her power back. It just came out about two hours ago. What's the feeling like? Oh my God, it's blessed. I done brought my whole family over here. No one had power, no food. Now we can cook, eat, take a hot shower. What a blessing. Now several relatives are staying with her. 16, three aren't here right now. 16 people in a three bedroom house. Yes. But in some parts of the state, life slowly returning to normal. My colleague Gio Benitez was in Miami Beach today. Just take a look at this epic traffic jam. Residents who had to evacuate for Irma are now finally able to go back home. Cleanup efforts well underway in the city, but Ocean Drive more like a beach than a boulevard. The beach is over there, but the sand is over here. It just covered iconic Ocean Drive. Adding to the headaches, the need for gas. For the most part, if you want to wait in line in Florida, you can get the necessities. But a much different story in the Caribbean, where those islands were first hit by Irma and a lack of basic supplies is acute. Almost everything is broken down. We need water and food. Even as French President Emmanuel Macron visited St. Martin today, promising to help. The situation is very critical now, so we are trying to fix the situation regarding health, education, access to water, energy, and telco. 
It's not just St. Martin. Last Wednesday, Richard Branson took to Twitter to say that he was riding out the storm with his son and others in his wine cellar on Necker Island, his private island resort in the British Virgin Islands. His estate was destroyed by Hurricane Irma. Since then, Branson has helped with relief efforts, pledging to use his foundation, Virgin Unite, to raise money for reconstruction projects, taking to social media to bring attention to the desperately needed recovery. Back in the U.S., while the most recent spotlight has been on the destruction in Florida, Houston has been recovering slowly in the weeks since Hurricane Harvey flooded the city, destroying buildings, inundating neighborhoods, and pushing thousands from their homes into shelters. Overwhelmingly devastating. It's um, a mess everywhere. 75 people died as a result of that storm. According to the Texas Department of Public Safety, an estimated 37,000 homes have been seriously damaged or destroyed. Our entire neighborhood is underwater. Today, some neighborhoods in West Houston are still flooded. And despite many relief efforts, some Houston residents are struggling to get back on their feet and rebuild. Six inches devastated the whole downstairs. Everything that we had down there is gone. Such overwhelming destruction at the hands of Mother Nature in the last few weeks. There are millions of people out there who need our help. Tonight's telethon. La guerra pronto acabará. Raising more than 15 million dollars in an hour. Please give what, what you can. can. Just one small step in a huge rebuilding effort. For Nightline, I'm Tom Yamas in Miami, Florida. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.